Please note that the Burn It Nutrition podcast is for educational purposes only and is not meant to substitute for the advice of a doctor. Please consult your GP before using any of the techniques or products discussed on this show. Hope you like it. Welcome to episode 17 of the Burn It Nutrition podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Navarro. On today's show, we will hear about the powerful benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. To do this, we will learn of the battle for survival in the lives of two young men, as well as discovering how omega-3 fats played a vital role in the evolution of the human brain. And to end this show full of key takeaways, we will learn the actual benefits of omega-3 fats and methods of getting quality sources of these essential compounds. But first, this week's news and announcements. One of the main factors for an effective body transformation is making sure to include exercise into your routine. Whether that is weight training, sprint intervals, or whichever method of exercise you use, the goal is to keep improving. And finding smart ways to fuel your metabolism to perform better is a key component, which is where you can superstarch comes in to help. This is a carb source that also happens to be low carb friendly since it has been enhanced to provide a gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream without spiking insulin, allowing the body to still be able to tap into its own fat reserves for energy during a workout, essentially making your metabolism into a true hybrid engine. This UCAN Super Starch is highly recommended by Dr. Jeff Volick, who is one of the leading minds in low carb performance. And Generation UCAN has partnered with us to give you, my listeners, a 10% off discount with a coupon code BURNIT. Simply head over to generationucan.com forward slash store and use coupon code BURNIT so you can give this super starch a try and fuel your body the smart way. Also, if you want to learn the stages to break past those weight loss plateaus and get the body you have always wanted, then get your copy of 5th Stage Keto. Best of all is that 5th Stage Keto gives you the ebook version as well, so you can follow along as it is read to you. Head over to burnitnutrition.com and use coupon code BURNIT for $5 off at checkout. I'm so glad to have you with us today. Now, let's start the show. You are not alone as you begin this new stage of life. Learn the strategic methods to reach your goals and flourish the light within. With our guidance, you will uncover the hidden truths that have been missing from your understanding. It's time to let it burn. The point of connection between land and sea is where life begins and truly thrives. This ability to tap into the diversity of sea life has played a crucial role in the ability of man to reach its ever-growing accomplishments. And there is a very good reason early civilizations settled near bodies of water, like rivers and seas. You see, their ability to tap into the life-sustaining nourishment that the ocean provide was a key factor in the evolution of the human brain. And in today's episode, we will dive into one of the main reasons consuming this diversity of sea life helped the growth of the human brain. And to do this, we will shine the spotlight on essential omega-3 fatty acids. These special types of healthy fats are called essential because the body can't produce them on its own. They must come from the food that we eat in order to allow the body to function effectively. And in this week's episode, we will also learn about the real-life events that have showed how some use the power of these omega-3 fats as a tool in the hardest of moments. The reality is that in science, many often need study after study to confirm a theory before they feel comfortable applying it. The dilemma here is that this often takes too much time and money, options and luxuries that aren't always on the table. For example, like in the stories we will go into today, where there is a life-threatening emergency, and each second that goes by is vital for the outcome. In those times, many take on the task of thinking outside the box, and sometimes their gamble pays off by trying more unconventional methods. 
and sometimes going against the conventional theories may be a better choice. As we learned this week in the media and the attempt to spread fear behind the use of coconut oil as being dangerous, well, that's just simply wrong. You see, others out there are still trying to hold on to the outdated ideas that say that eating fat and cholesterol is bad and promoting vegetable oils instead. Maybe there's a hidden agenda to these articles going around. Well, make sure you listen to episode 15 that goes over why vegetable oils are a bad idea and how coconut oils have been used for thousands of years by many cultures without seeing health issues from consuming it. So, sometimes these conventional ideas aren't always on point, which you will hear another example of this week. But before we dive into these stories, let's first get a glimpse into the history of omega-3 fatty acids to view their role in our evolution. So let's get our brains ready to absorb the knowledge it desires by learning what it needs to thrive and function at its best. And to do this, we will use personal stories along with the science to make learning into a unique and interesting experience, which is what the Burn It Nutrition podcast is all about. As a child, I can still remember the stories my parents would tell us of their days back in their hometown, the city of Manzanillo. This was a little beachside town that grew into a large seaport over the years. They would always share their memories of relaxing on the hammocks surrounded by endless palm trees, drinking refreshing coconut water. A true endless summer. And they would always get excited when they started talking about the amazing seafood they ate. They remember the joy of seeing another family member coming back from the day out fishing with a big basket of the day's catch, freely sharing with all since there was so much to go around. Baskets with a diversity of fish, crab, seashells, squid, and of course this was as fresh as it gets. The moment they saw the day's catch changed the atmosphere into a celebration. Why? Well, because the nourishment the sea provided brought and sustained life. They were humble people with very little money to spend on meat from the local butcher. But still, they were happy because the sea always provided the healthy fats and protein their brains and body needed to stay healthy. Just like my parents, other families going back through the ages saw the importance of having access to the nourishment that swam within the crashing waves of the sea. You see, the improved skills and abilities of humans to fish and better be able to tap into the essential omega-3 fat sources helped our brains advance in leaps and bounds. Before our early ancestors learned how to fish, they were eating higher amounts of plants and vegetation with the occasional wild animal that they were able to kill. But once they learned how to tap into the abundance of sea life and eventually harness the power of fire and cooking is when their bodies were finally able to get the vital nourishment and calories that allowed the human brain to expand. Remember the brain is one of the most complex organs that requires large amounts of energy to function. And archaeological evidence has shown that about 2 million years ago is when early humans began to learn the skills of fishing, which also goes along the same timeline that showed a drastic increase in the size of the human brain. And this increase in the size of the brain from the consumption of fatty fish makes sense when you realize that the human brain is made up of fat, 30% of that fat being omega-3s. And the best source of these essential fats is found in the fatty fish we find in the sea. This ability to tap into the abundant sea life to help early man's brain get the raw materials it needed, which triggered the increase in brain size, which led to even more improved fishing skills that allowed civilizations to also improve and expand. Unfortunately, it seems like we have gotten a bit too smart for our own good and some have began to take advantage of the sea by overfishing and leaving very little time 
to allow the fish population to recover. But this is for a whole nother episode. Now, what is it about omega-3 fatty acids that cause such improvements in the brain? Well, let's dive in and find out. So, my goal with this episode is to show the importance of finding ways to include omega-3 fats into one's diet. This is vital, and I really can't stress it enough. And in episode 15, I go over one of the main reasons it's crucial to put this effort into getting these omega-3s into your diet. But let's go ahead and recap. So the body uses the fat you eat as a fundamental tool to build the structure of various parts of the body ranging from the brain, which we have already mentioned, to even the walls of every cell in your body. And the body functions at its best when there is a balance of the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 compounds. And for much of our history, humans kept this balance with minimal effort. This is because they ate a diet that didn't involve highly processed foods, but instead consumed natural whole foods that wouldn't have excess amounts of the inflammatory omega-6 compounds. Well, sadly, this isn't the case anymore. The majority of westernized cultures are eating more and more processed foods, which we learned use so-called heart-healthy vegetable oils, like canola oil, that oxidize easily. And with them also come a large amount of the inflammatory omega-6 compounds. The problem that arises from our culture leaving the vital nourishment that we get from the fatty fish of the sea that give us their high levels of omega-3 fats that we need, and instead shift towards man-made food-like products that lack nutrients and increase the levels of omega-6 fats, is one of the reasons for the increase in serious health issues around the world. The ideal ratio we once had of 2 to 1 omega-6 to 3 is now shifting into a lopsided ratio of 15 to 1 or even 20 to 1 in favor of the inflammatory omega-6 compounds. And numerous studies have seen that this imbalance is a big factor in the rise of cancer, heart disease, dementia, and decreased mental health. But when one has a balanced ratio of omega-6 to 3 fats will set the conditions to allow the body to truly thrive. Now, let's go further into the cognitive improvements of omega-3 fats, since they're showing to be quite impressive. If we take a closer look, we will find that there have been cases of severe brain injuries where high doses of omega-3 fatty acids have been used as a therapy to help the recovery of the brain. And it makes perfect sense that this could help when you learn that the brain is made up of 30% omega-3 fats and so providing the raw materials the brain needs to help it heal itself. This is called the brick analogy, which says that if you have a brick wall that gets damaged, then you would want to use the same material to repair it. Well, this analogy was applied in these brain injuries with the use of these essential healthy fats. And just to prove my point for the profound benefits of omega-3 fats, let me tell you the story about a real-life battle for survival of a young man named Grant Virgin. This story began when Grant's father and younger brother noticed an ambulance near their home. As they walked over, they saw broken glass and bloodstains across the pavement. That's when it occurred to his father that Grant had gone on a walk in that direction. And when he called the paramedic over and asked to describe the victim, is surely when he realized that the nightmare of most parents was happening to him. He had to come to terms that the bloodstains on the pavement were from his very own son. After they airlifted Grant to the hospital, they rushed home to give this heartbreaking news to his mother. Instantly, her motherly instinct went into action and they made a sprint to the hospital, only to be met with dreaded news of her son's condition. His body had taken a big impact from the speeding car, leaving him with compound bone and spinal fractures, a torn aorta, and countless shards of glass and bits of gravel embedded within his skin. But worst of all is the skull fracture that caused severe brain damage and bleeding within the brain. This young man really was in the fight of his life and his mother and family were in his corner. 
Unfortunately, the doctors were not too optimistic and felt that he wouldn't last the night. They advised his family to consider letting him go, but this was advice his mother did not take well. After weeks had gone by and several surgeries later, still, her son was not showing signs of getting better and the doctors informed her that there isn't much else to do but wait. They told her that the brain is on its own schedule. Well, she took it upon herself to fight on her son's behalf and went into research mode. Her first offensive attack was to have them give her son a hormone progesterone, which they hoped would help bring down the inflammation. He eventually woke up from his coma, but only getting out one or two words. But to a parent whose child is in a coma, even the smallest fidget of the hand is worth celebrating. Well, soon after, she was told by some friends that there had been other patients who had also suffered serious brain traumas that were showing signs of improvement after being given high doses of fish oil. And so, she tracked down Dr. Barry Sears, one of the leading minds in the benefits of omega-3 fats, who was involved in the 2006 brain injury case where for the first time, they used high-dose fish oil as a therapy. And so, she asked the doctors to apply this untested method of therapy, applying the brick wall analogy and giving her son's brain an abundance of the raw materials and building blocks it needed to recover. The theory was that the EPA that is found in omega-3 fats would help the repairing of the damaged neurons and reduce the swelling of the brain. Studies have shown that the EPA in these essential omega-3 fats help fight neuroinflammation by producing a metabolite called resolvin. And so they convinced the doctors to try this theory in hopes of bringing her son back. And they began to give Grant's body and brain a daily dose of 20 grams of fish oil. Just to give you an idea, most fish oil supplements suggest a dose of 2 grams per day, so it was a large increase in dosage. While they took a chance and considering the science and looking at it from a logical perspective, it seemed like the right thing to do. Well, two days after beginning this high-dose regimen of fish oil, Grant's mother received a phone call late at night. Half asleep, she woke to answer. Surely she must have answered with a bit of fear of bad news. Well, on the other side of that phone was not a doctor or a nurse, but the voice of her very own son, Grant. He had such a drastic improvement that he was able to have a full conversation. The following morning, Grant's mother thought she had dreamt this, but no, this was no dream. Her gamble was paying off, and after several months, her son was walking and started to get his life back. This all from the same boy that the doctors wanted to give up on. This is a very real story, and it doesn't stand alone. There are others like it like the survival story of Randall McCloy, who was the only survivor of a mining accident in West Virginia, where he was trapped in a mine full of methane gas and carbon monoxide for 41 hours. And by the time they got him out, he had brain damage, kidney and liver failure, a collapsed lung, and suffered a heart attack. Well, this untested theory was also applied to Randall, and he too saw the power of omega-3 fats and within three weeks, he awoke from his coma, and after three months, he was speaking and walking. Pretty cool, right? Now, I want to be clear that I'm not saying we should all be taking high-dose fish oil. I tell you these true stories to show the power of these essential fatty acids, in hopes of reminding you of the importance of finding ways to get these essential healthy fats into your day, whether that be with your food choices or a high-quality fish oil supplement. And of course, one should only consider high-dose fish oil supplementation while under medical supervision, especially when going in for a surgery as it reduces the clotting of the blood, which is great to fight heart attacks, but not ideal when you're under surgery due to the risk of excessive bleeding. While the more our culture and technology advances, the more we are coming to a point in our modern era where some of us are starting to forget that before the pharmaceutical labs, food was our medicine our ancestors would use the resources that were put on this earth to cure and heal their ailments, natural remedies that came from the land and sea. Curing plant elements and wild animal resources all served a purpose. But this seems like a different world for some of us that is getting harder and harder to imagine. 
Well, now that we have covered the more dramatic cases where omega-3 fats have been used, let's briefly go into some of the other ways these essential fats can be helpful. But first, a break to hear from our partners. If you want to help support this show, then you can do this by becoming a Burn It Patreon member. This will allow us to keep this show on air. And you even get a copy of Fit Stage Keto when you sign up as a Burn It member. So head to patreon.com forward slash burn it and help support the show you love. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Burn It Nutrition to check out some of my progress pictures. And subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already, and even share it with your friend who wants to learn more about a healthy lifestyle in a fun way. So now that we have heard some of the more dramatic cases where omega-3 fats have helped in the recovery of a damaged brain, we can now learn of the other ways these essential fats have been a helpful therapy. And one of those benefits have been seen in women during and after pregnancy. You see, omega-3 fats are crucial when the little fetus is developing. And so making sure the mother is adding these healthy fats into her diet is usually a good idea. It has been seen that providing omega-3 fats to the mother as well as the baby can possibly lead to an increase in cognitive progression, improved communication, reduced behavior issues, and lower chances of ADHD. Omega-3 fats have also shown to be an aid in battling metabolic syndrome. This is a term used when the perfect storm of problems are seen in combination, including insulin resistance, increased belly fat, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, and low levels of the good HDL cholesterol. Well, providing a good source of omega-3 fatty acids can help fight back against these effects. Now, of course, you will probably have to apply a lifestyle change towards a lower carb paleo or keto lifestyle to really see improvements. It's important to remember that omega-3s are not a panacea or a magic supplement to fix all cures. Changes in lifestyle and putting priority into your nutrition is also a key factor. These essential fats simply give you the best chances to see improvements. Another benefit that has been seen with the use of omega-3 fats is in the battle against chronic inflammation. This is because of the anti-inflammatory compounds they contain. They have also shown to be helpful in the fight against age-related cognitive decline, like in dementia and Alzheimer's. And I would think that when you combine the benefits of omega-3s with the use of exogenous ketones, we'll have the chances to see the greatest improvements in cognitive abilities. I go further into the benefits of ketones on the brain in episode 7 of the podcast. And there have also been some studies that showed that those who had a diet that included fatty fish like salmon had higher levels of gray matter in the brain. This gray matter are the areas of the brain that involve the processing of feelings, memories, and information. Omega-3 fats have also helped fight against non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is a widespread disease that affects many in our modern cultures who consume excess amounts of sugars, especially fructose, that leads to obesity and fatty livers. Well, a combination of a lower-carb diet with some quality fish oil is a step in the right direction. And lastly, the essential healthy fat DHA, which is also found in fish oil, can help improve your sleep. It does this by increasing the body's ability to produce the hormone melatonin, which is your sleep hormone, allowing you to get the rest your body needs. So, as you have now learned, that including omega-3 fats in your diet can be helpful in a wide variety of methods. But how exactly do we do this? Well, there are two ways. You can either make the effort to include more fatty fish like wild-caught salmon, sardines, and even tuna. But if this isn't always an option, then simply get yourself a high-quality fish or krill oil supplement. That is what I do to ensure I'm getting my essential omega-3s. I make sure to take my daily dose of fish oil. Now I may not feel the immediate effects like I get with my exogenous ketones, but hearing the science makes me prioritize this supplement into my daily routine. So when looking for a fish or krill oil supplement, you want to make sure it contains the healthy omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA. These are the type of omega-3s with the best results due to their increase in bioavailability. Certain brands may use ALA, which can come from plant sources, but this type of fat doesn't convert well into the more bioavailable forms of EPA and DHA, 
so it's best to look for the brands that give you EPA and DHA. That way you skip the conversion process and go straight for the good stuff. I try to get at least 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of the essential omega-3 fats using a combination of omega-3 foods as well as a quality supplement. I have posted a great omega-3 supplement that provides the EPA and DHA your body needs that is at a bargain price in my recommendations page of the Burn It Nutrition website. This brand that I recommend has a special coating to prevent the fishy aftertaste, which is great for those that don't like the taste of fish. Simply type in burnitnutrition.com forward slash rec, which is short for recommendations, to get these omega-3s into your day. We have now reached the segment of the show where we find ways of including these essential healthy fats into our menu. And on today's recipe, we are making pan-fried salmon with sautéed veggies. This will be a mouth-watering way to get these omega-3 fats into your diet. I went ahead and posted the full recipe at burnitnutrition.com. So the ingredients you will need to make two servings of this delicious dish are two 5-ounce salmon fillets, five tablespoons of butter, sea salt and black pepper to taste, four cups of chopped veggies of your choice, like asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and mushrooms, as well as one large lemon. And this is what you will do. First, rinse the salmon fillets and pat dry. Then, season with salt and pepper to taste and set aside. Next, chop the veggies and place them in a large skillet over medium-high heat and add two tablespoons of butter. Once melted, toss in the veggies and add salt and pepper to taste and stir for around five to eight minutes or until tender. Once cooked, place veggies in a covered bowl and set aside. Next, add another three tablespoons of butter to the skillet and gently lay in the salmon fillets, skin side down. Let them cook for five to seven minutes. The fleshy side should turn into a golden brown. Then, gently flip and cook for another five minutes. Once done, serve the filet with the sauteed veggies and slice a lemon to squeeze on top of the crispy salmon and enjoy. This yummy dish will help keep you on track towards your goals and help keep your brain healthy. This brings us to the end of episode 17 of the Burn It Nutrition Podcast. My goal with this episode was to show you the importance of finding ways to include these essential healthy fats into your diet. I hope you got some key takeaways and are feeling a bit more knowledgeable behind the benefits and purpose of omega-3 fats. You now know probably much more than the majority of the population when it comes to these essential fats. So go ahead and do your smarty pants dance. Smarty pants dance, smarty pants dance. (laughs) I gotta say that podcasts have been a priceless resource in my own life. I used to hear all types of different podcasts about storytelling as well as health, which is what sparked me to create the Burn It Nutrition podcast. I wanted to create a show that included both, a show that made learning fun and was interesting. So I've put in that work for you to enjoy in hopes of sparking a change in your own life. So take advantage of great resources for podcasts like iTunes, and for those who have Android phones, then check out CastBox. They also have a user-friendly interface that makes listening to a podcast pretty cool. And I want to personally thank them for featuring the Burn It Nutrition podcast amongst the best in the world. It's awesome to think that a simple idea is turning into a great resource for thousands in many different countries all over the globe. This leads us to this week's review of the week, which comes from Patty, and she wrote, I love this show. It has helped me so much in my health journey. Thank you for all that you do, and I will share this with all my friends. Well, thank you very much for that review, Patty. It really means a lot to me. And if you like this show, then why not leave us a quick review and even share it with your own friends? Maybe they need to hear about the importance of fish oil. Also, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook under the username Burn It Nutrition. I just posted one of my most recent before and after pics that's pretty crazy to look at. I also add some gym motivations and some of the yummy low-carb foods I use to stay on track. Well, friends, remember to stay driven towards your goals. Make each day better than the last and keep putting fitness and nutrition as a priority in your life. You may be surprised what a few months of consistency can have on your body and on your long-term health. And don't miss out on the chance to get your copy of Fit Stage Keto to learn the steps to effectively reach your body transformation. 
and it now comes with an audiobook version as well as the ebook, so you can follow along as it is read to you by none other than myself. Head over to burnitnutrition.com and don't forget to use the coupon code BURNIT at checkout to get $5 off. Well, I hope you join us on the next episode. Your presence always makes this show that much better. Now brace yourself, because it's time to let it burn. Burn.